All right, welcome to the 2019 May Monthly Skills Combine. This skills combine is a two-part workout. The first part is 90 seconds of max total repetitions of a thruster. There will be a 30-second transition time. The second part is 90 seconds of max total pull-ups. For the fun option, thrusters will be 30-pound dumbbells for male and 20-pound dumbbells for female. GFS will be 45 and 30 and hip will be done with 53 and 35 pound kettlebells. For the pull options, fun is going to be ring rows, GFS will be pull-ups, and hard in the paint will be chest-to-bar pull-ups. For this workout, the weight will start on the ground. Once the clock has begun for their 90 seconds, athletes will then pick up their weight. The rep will start in a fully opened up hip position. Crease of the hip needs to get below the top of the patella, and then have full hip extension at the top. As they press that weight overhead for the thruster, we want to see elbow locked out, bicep cover in the ear, or head through the window. Wrist is obviously stacked over the shoulder with weight stable. From here, the weight will need to come down, make contact with the body, and then they can perform the next rep. Athletes could also drop the weight down and drop down into the squat at the same time, but it does need to make contact before they start moving back up. So if they drop down and then come up and meet and press, that would be no rep. So with dumbbells, head of the dumbbell makes contact with the shoulder, crease of the hips below the knees, full hip extension, full elbow extension, that is one rep. With the kettlebell, it is in that kettlebell front rack position. As previously mentioned in other skill combine videos, we want to see the handle or the thumb contact with the collarbone. We don't want to have the weight outside like this. It needs to be in, it needs to make contact. Otherwise, very similar. From here, full hip extension at the top, squat all the way down, full hip extension, open up all the way. Head through the window, bicep cover in the ear, and then back down, make contact with the body, with the handle, or your thumbs. If the weight is away like this, it is a no rep. After they finish their 90 seconds of the thruster, they will have a 30 second rest and transition time before they start their pull movements. As previously stated, fun is gonna be ring rows. For the ring row, we're doing it a little bit different from here on out to make it more accessible. We want the handle the same height as the crease of the hip, our athlete's feet are gonna be in line with the rig. Arms are straight, legs are straight. From here, wrist to the rib cage, and then back down. Palms could be down, they could be a neutral grip, they could rotate all the way over if they want to, as long as wrist gets back to the rib cage and full elbow extension at the bottom. Athletes are more than welcome to have their feet past the rig if they want to. We just want to make sure they get at least to the rig for a standard. GFS is a pull-up. As always, this is our standard pull-up. Chin over the bar, any means necessary. Full elbow extension at the bottom. So athletes could strict, they could kip, they could butterfly. They just cannot have any equipment or outside assistance in terms of bands, a jumping pull-up, or a partner-assisted pull-up. Full elbow extension at the bottom of the rep, chin over the bar, and then back down. The hip option is chest to bar pull-ups. As the name implies, chest needs to make contact with the bar. The chest is any area below the collarbone, excluding the collarbone. A good indication is if you pull your hands back, that space right between the thumbs, if that makes contact, you'll be fine. Because there is contact involved, you could either see it or hear it when you or your athletes perform the rep, making sure they make contact. As always, they could strict, they could kip, they could butterfly. After 90 seconds, they're done. This workout is based on total completed repetitions. So they could go planned breaks, a couple reps at a time. They could also do this completely unbroken. All we're looking for is total reps. Every level will have its own scoring system for that, and it is possible to win either one or both. 
for our coaches, as always, you will need to do a video submission for your attempt. If we cannot validate your range of motion 100% for sure, it's going to be a no rep. So make sure you record yourself in a way where every rep without question is perfect. If we have to guess it, we're going to count it as a no rep. Last thing we want to do is have someone submit an awesome score, but it's a score of zero because everything was no reps because we couldn't make sure that they had a full elbow extension or they didn't hit full depth on their squat. Don't be that coach. If you have any questions, please post onto Basecamp. Um, we are more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have, especially if there's something missed, either in the objective of the workout or in this video. We'll test here and then we will test it again at the end of May. Because it is short, it can be done multiple times throughout the month even throughout the week for your athletes. It's only three minutes of work, total volume. If you have any questions, once again, ask away and we'll be more than happy to help. Best of luck to everyone. And let's see who takes home the banner this time.